What's up, Timekeepers? Me, Tom Gamer here, bring you a new series to the channel. Me reacting to old video game trailers. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Alright guys, so today I'm going to bring you a new series, like I said in the introduction. I wanted to start a new series where I look back at some of my favorite trailers of past games. Uh, as you can see, this, this is probably one of my favorites I'm going to start off with. But uh, I'm going to go through different games from the past, looking at their trailers. See uh, if they actually revealed anything from the game that we... Uh, that it actually revealed little secrets from the game that we thought, like, we didn't think about while watching the trailer before the games were revealed. And I thought, why not start with one of my favorite trailers, just the atmosphere of the trailer, uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So in the series, before I get started uh, with the first trailer, uh, I'm going to play, I'm, I'm, uh, each video I'm going to try to play uh, maybe all the trailers uh, of the game. I'm not 100% sure yet, but uh, I think San Andreas has three trailers if I remember, or two. I don't exactly remember, but I'm, I'm not going to play them in the uh, order of release. Uh, if you know the order of release, you can tell me in the comments below, I really appreciate that. And uh, of course, I'll make the. Uh, I won't. I won't correct it in the video because it's gonna be too late. But it's a good fact to know at the bottom. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. All right. So the first trailer we have is. Uh, I don't. What is? It's this one trailer. I don't remember the the exact name of this trailer, but there's the song. What's what's catchy about this song? Is what's catchy about this trailer is the song, and it's just showing you just an everyday life in San Andreas back then. It doesn't necessarily show you like what are the main goals of the game itself. Uh, sorry if the song's a bit low, I don't want to, I try not to get copyright on this, but it shows you the everyday life in, in uh, San Andreas, which is pretty fun. Uh, just give me a second, I'll try to get the title of the song. So the title, the title of the song is Jungle Fever by Chakaba, if I said that correctly, sorry. Uh, what's nice about the vine, uh, let's go back, I, I will do a little bit of uh, rewind and going back. Remember this part here. Sorry if it's a little bit missed. I'm, I'm still adjusting the way I'm going to be doing, doing these, but but like you see the Vinewood sign, you see it in the Grand Theft Auto V, uh, where it's very updated. It just it shows how the game is dated. Of course, it's a I think it's a 2004 game if I remember correctly. This trailer is what uh, back when I was in school, Grand Theft Auto trailers were like some of my favorite trailers ever. Is always one of the games that I always waited for when I was when I was playing video games back then. And uh, it was always fun listening to... This trailer was one of my friends just because of the song itself, but just the way it was made, just the, like, uh, just how... Just how it seems like it's the high life in, in uh, San, San Andreas. Because uh, it's not just a, 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 if for some of the newer people that haven't never played uh, San Andreas. This this wasn't just San Andreas, it wasn't just Los Santos like GTA Five. This was uh, the whole area san andreas los venturas and uh i don't remember the uh san fierro for san francisco and stuff like that so it's a very fun little trailer uh is there are certain parts i wanted to check i don't know i just felt it just felt like the way they the way they present the trailer for this game it just feels like it's a family thing it not not a family game but like the the way that it feels like you're part of a community and so i know i repeated that a couple times what the one thing I enjoyed about Grand Theft Auto, this is like where they sort of show you like the plane traveling. This is the first GTA, if I remember correctly, that you could travel by plane, like pick up a plane and just go. And actually, for I don't know, if you guys remember some one of the missions, uh, one of one of the missions in the game itself, uh, you had to travel to Liberty City to do a mission on that. Uh, if you some I don't know if the younger people remember, but in Liberty City, the the from GTA three. Uh, there was like a, a, a sort of a cafe on the corner of a hill road, uh, right? Like you go up a hill road and then there's a cafe there and you have to blow up a car and then go back on the plane. Uh, that was one of the first, I think, Grand Theft, uh, first time we've done that in the GTA series or the 3D GTA series uh, where we travel back into the, an older Grand Theft Auto and uh, revisit one location. I don't think, if I remember correctly, I don't remember if you could travel a lot around the city I, I think it was just like that main location i don't even know if you drove actually no i don't actually i don't I actually don't think you drove in that game anyway if you guys know the answer to that definitely tell me in the comments below for sure um what was else what, what was else what i enjoyed really about grand theft auto uh, san andreas is really how do you divide it gang territories this and how much customization was in this game this is the first GTA where you had you were like you had to bulk up or get skinny or get you could get fat you can work out you can 
customize your cars. You can have a low rider um, where you you had to make sure you follow you you didn't miss the train. <laughs> One of the classic meme nowadays. Uh, Smoke telling you the only thing you had to do was follow the train or something like that. I don't remember exactly. No, it's 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 one of those games where it just it just switched it up a bit. Where we're GTA like in all the if I remember the classics one, the one two in London. I think you were always like a, a mob guy just going like to build your rank up of, with other gangs. And from GTA three and four, you were one mob guy or one uh, guy trying to make it in the mob life. And this. This took a turn where you were actually in the gang life. You're trying to bring your old gang back back to life, and then of course later in the story, there's uh, I, th I think I can spoil it by now because it's a 2004 game. It's more than 10 years old. Uh, where you get you get uh, you got back you get backstabbed by two of the gang members, uh, and pretty much the last mission finishes you you finish off by killing the the like the leader of the people that tra that uh, backstabbed you. And you take care of that fucking crooked cop uh, played by Samuel Jackson uh, at the end there, which was it, it was. I have to say this, uh, San Andreas. I think if I remember correctly, it's one of the most appreciated Grand Theft Auto to date. I don't know if class it with GTA Five if it's it's it is. I would say GTA Five. The mission. Not not everybody enjoyed the GTA Five mission as I remember correctly. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we'll uh, I'll go to uh, the next trailer. I'll keep talking about Grand Theft Auto here. Just give me a second. All right, so this is sort of story trailer, if you guys remember. It was always weird at the beginning where you saw the Rockstar logo everywhere. You're like, it sort of broke the fourth wall because Rockstar necessarily doesn't exist in this world. Oh, yeah, the reveal where you're going back because your mom died. And then you really had with the song, uh, what was this song? Oh yeah, I remember. I don't remember the exact title of this song, but it sort of gave you that that hood feel, like you were back, killing everybody in the hood. It was a pretty fun little uh, trailer. It really gave you the sense of what the the, the story was going to be, like you're gonna have to be a badass guy, and pretty much you're st you're seeing all story shit right now in the trailer. Yeah, <laughs> I really enjoyed the way they cut the trailer, like because the game the game was just amazing to play and just it's weird to explain. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much all story stuff, so... This game was just amazing, just all together, so I know I'm pretty much repeating everything I've been saying from the beginning. I'll just finish this trailer, and then... Oh, parachuting, that was one new thing. And then also you had the, um... Tuesday, yeah. October 26, 2014. Uh, yeah, where you had, um... Where you had the introduction of the parachute, then you had the jack pad in the area of... I don't remember what it's called for GTA, the Area 51 look clone area where you could find a jetpack. It was pretty, it was, uh, and then for GTA 5, they were assuming that the jetpack was going to be back because they found, if I remember correctly, back then, a couple years ago, they found like the coding for a jetpack, but it never, they never actually released it or something like that. Or um, it, it was all a big fiasco, but I think there's another trailer, but I won't go into it because it's just more of San Andreas. So I don't really else what else to say. These trailers just bring back so much memory when you're watching them. It's just like it's just going down memory lane. It's it's it was when I feel like when the actual music in the trailer actually made a difference, even if it wasn't like an original soundtrack, an original song for the trailer itself. But these are all like I uh, like Welcome to the Jungle for the other trailer I didn't show. And then Jungle Fever for the other one, and then this one here, I think it's an NWA uh, song. I'm not 100% sure, sorry. If, if you can write in the comment below if, I, if I'm not correct on that one. But just the vibe of what the game was going for really cut it in the trailers. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If, you're, if it's the first time you're watching the trailers, uh, hopefully you, you, you saw these games are dated, of course. Uh, it is definitely a game if you enjoyed GTA, like GTA 4 and 5, which I'm assuming most rec more younger people would be more... Uh, more accustomed to the, those ones with the more modern graphic GTA San Andreas would probably be something worth taking a look at least play the beginning of it get the feel of it get like the sense of what the game was about the feel of the game taking over gang territories that was my favorite aspect in the game just turning like the first thing I did as soon as that like all taking over to all the gang territories the first thing I was doing was just like uh, the multiple times I played was always like stop take all bring all the purples and yellow and light blue territories to green territory territories and uh 
yeah, so that was pretty fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the trailers. If you had never played Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, definitely it's it's worth taking a look back. I think it's even on tablets and phones and stuff, so if you you guys can check it out there. It's it's on PC, it's on everything pretty much now. And uh, yeah, if there's games you want me to go look back at old trailers, some ones some that you're fond of, uh, definitely I'll check more than the ones I remember for the most part. But if there's some that you want me to check out, maybe some I'm like, whoa, i never seen this trailer before, that's amazing. Uh, definitely leave a comment below, of course, and of course like the video, subscribe to the channel if you think that uh, you enjoy these react video to old trailers. I know I'm probably not the only one do doing these. It might be the, like the hundred thousand person doing this. I just felt like doing this. It's uh, something I really enjoy talking about. Uh, it, for some reason, it's something while you're playing games. I'm always remembering old trailers. How those trailers like gave you like the chills when you're when you're watching them. Maybe today it's not the same because a lot of trailers are generic. I would say a lot of trailers most a lot of the time nowadays. There's not enough, a lot of um, involvement, but Rockstar was very, is very good at doing trailers. When you watch uh, the Red Dead Redemption 2 trailer, it really had gave you the feel of what maybe the game's going to be. It's going to have to be another one of those things we're going to go back and see. Uh, is ju I just wanted to do this series, uh, this, uh, this series to go back on trailers. We're like, oh yeah, this definitely gave the right feel to the game because that's how, like, the, especially this trailer here, where you, you get more of the sense of the gang. Uh, violence uh, the gang vibe of the game it definitely comes out in this trailer having played the game so you really get that so of course uh leave a comment below of what a game you want to check out uh, subscribe to the channel and of course follow me everywhere me time gamer twitter twitch facebook instagram and right here youtube.com forward slash me time where i post a new video every day week monday to friday 3 p.m 3 p.m eastern time so thank you so much guys for watching and i will see you in the next video keep on keeping on